Greetings, two bros. It's very late and I'm tired. So let's make this a short one. At last, and somewhat overdue, uh, the final episode in the Fleurfa Species series of videos. Now in episode one, we looked at the religious Fleurfas. Uh, in video two, we looked at the secular Fleurfas. In three, we looked at uh, the monetized charlatans. And finally, we're going to look at what appears to be the most abundant Fleurfas of all, the unthinking sheep. Um, those who blindly sponge up all the incomprehensible and mindless drivel that the more prominent fleurfoids squirt from their dunce valves on a seemingly daily basis. Those of us who address the dumbassery of flat earth believers have to subject ourselves to the comment sections of their channels since, like monkeys in a fig tree, this is where the unquestioning flattest herd tends to gather. And on our forays into this realm of flatardia, um, we often come across the usual sort of sycophantic, crawly, bumlick offerings that your, your regular common or garden fleurfer posts under the comment section of the sort of more prominent flat earthers. You know, all the uh, all the I love you, you're so wonderful, oh the truth is out there, people are waking up, you know, all the usual kind of nonsense that these sycophantic little turds like to spread all over YouTube and the wider web. Now in order to ingratiate themselves further into the realm of retardation and no doubt in the interest of inclusion, even the special kids are allowed to play. Now for the most part there seems to be a lot of uh, shall we say special needs individuals knocking around in the comment sections of these prominent flat earthers um, like this one from somebody calling themselves my dog is dead this is an absolute classic but unfortunately it's not as uncommon as you might think to see comments of this almost supernaturally, grammatically imperfect style. Thanks for doing this video. It's the best one ever. You can tell the grubber heads to give up because you are the best at yelling everyone about that that earth is flat. Space will stop, comma. We are whacking up and the, they ain't because they are stupid and don't know nothing about the flat earth being flat. It's not a ball because we know forward slash. I will shy you because you're the best one on here for the flat urge. Comma, comma, comma. NASA is full of shit because of their lying and the moon. And by they, I presume our eloquent friend means us, those who counter the flat earth belief. Now, despite their almost supernatural inability to command the English language, they have the audacity to label us stupid. Hmm, pot, meat kettle. But this sheep-like devotion isn't confined to the terminally dim. Even those who, who appear to possess sufficient intelligence to string a sentence together are also in on the act. And no doubt, since they realise their own ability to construct a coherent sentence, they presume themselves to be far brighter than those of us who rely on mere science to inform our judgment. This really shows how stupid people really are. I use the word really twice in one sentence there. To think that you could live in a spinning ball and the people in Australia are upside down. It defies our logic. No, I'll tell you what defies logic. That someone over the age of three could even remotely consider that the earth is flat and that the good people of Australia are upside down. Why then are these people so attracted to the whole flat earth nonsense? Uh, it's, it's not a simple explanation, I'll admit. These regressive molecules of dumb come from a great variety of backgrounds. But as we humans are social creatures, and those who may have found themselves excluded from a social group elsewhere for being you know, too thick, too annoying, too ugly or, or too whatever, these people will tend to coalesce into communities that are looking for a group identity of their own. 
that's why you tend to find some very strange sorts in groups that have gravitated towards you know other fringe interests like um, conspiracies and, and the paranormal now <laughs> I've got a fair bit of experience with paranormal groups and I could tell you some very strange stories about them I can tell you but we digress now when these these flat arts heard together they tend to become emboldened um, to act against what they see as you know the mainstream and promoting the position of their group sanctioned by their specific cult leaders allows them to feel part of something and feeling protected by the semi-anonymity of the internet they can jump onto a channel that presents a view opposite to the channel's adopted position leave one of their painfully formulaic comments and then disappear back into their own little safe space where they will congratulate each other on proving their point uh, knowing that the rest of the group will completely agree with them uh, for fear of being excluded by the majority who are desperately keen on maintaining this obsequious devotion to whoever has emerged uh, as a leader within that specific group. Now these very same people will also be found making comments on any number of other topics from uh, the JFK assassination, uh, Bigfoot, Area 51, um, crystal healing, astrology, dimensional rifts, you name it, they're into it. In fact, they will come out in favour of or against anything provided the rest of the little group agrees and provided that it's you know not what could usually be termed a mainstream view in fact i would bet a noble to ninepence that if we did live on a flat earth this lot would be wetting their undies promoting it as a globe so there we have it the end of episode four um I don't think there's really much else that can be said about these common or garden, ordinary, everyday little flurfers. They tend to, you know, buzz around the major channels, leaving their sycophantic little comments. And genuinely, I think all it is down to is the fact that they are desperate to belong to something. Um, they don't possess the intelligence to understand the scientific aspects of the world. And so, rather than realize their own idiocy they will latch on to something that allows them to feel as though they know something that the rest of us don't their little community then will all feel magnificently wonderful that they've got one over on possibly the sort of people who told them whilst they were going through school that they would never amount to anything um, the fact that they haven't amounted to anything is probably a constant source of embarrassment to them and so these people they slide off into these little groups where they can spout their nonsense but because everybody else in that group agrees with them they genuinely believe that they're onto something that the rest of us have either overlooked that we're being paid by NASA to ignore or that we genuinely do not understand I'm afraid that just isn't the case. These people are terminally dumb and they should have paid a damn sight more attention when they were in school. Anyway, short one tonight. As I said, it's very late. I'm very tired. My usual YouTube upload uh, timetable will likely get back to normal in a week or two. I'm decorating my house from top to bottom. It takes forever. I hate decorating. But you know what it's like, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do a job properly. So if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell notification. YouTube will then send you an email on my behalf, letting you know when my next video is uploaded. Uh, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching. Be nice to each other. I will catch you soon. Hold on.